Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, as title on the screen now, we are going to be using indirect with the VLOOKUP function. So the real benefit of using indirect with VLOOKUP is it enables you to define a dynamic range uh, within your VLOOKUP. Uh, what's particularly beneficial if you are uh, wanting to look up a different range based on, or not a different range, but in a different sheet based on different information you have in your table. So what we're going to do first is quickly just step through, a, or go enter a basic VLOOKUP formula into our first uh, row of our example table, where it's now selected in row five. And then once we put that VLOOKUP function into there, we'll then start building the indirect in there as well. Hopefully this will be the most straightforward. Um, it is quite straightforward once you get the grips of it, but obviously we don't want to try and overcomplicate it at any time. So if we were wanting to do a VLOOKUP to find the name Tim in, our, in the UK, uh, what we've got is a UK tab, what we're just going to here, and you can see, we've actually got two, let's step through them both. So we've got a UK sheet, and you can see we've got the names Tim, John, and Sam. And in the results here, we've got the UK 100, 200, and 300 for each individual. In the US sheet, we've got exactly the same information, but just this time we're gonna, we've got US uh, 100, US 200, and US 300, just so we can differentiate between the two um, pieces of information. And what we want to do in our example is we want to a VLOOKUP, that looks for the, searches for the person's name and returns the value. But if they're in the UK, we want it to do the VLOOKUP on the UK sheet. If they're in the US, we want to look up on the US sheet. So hopefully that's quite straightforward. So the first part of this uh, is to enter uh, our VLOOKUP. So we're just going to look up uh, the name Tim in the sheet uh, for the UK. So we enter our VLOOKUP function and we open brackets and we select Tim's name as our lookup value. We then go to the UK and we enter our table array, what's going to be columns A, B. We want to return the value from the second column where the result is. And then we're going to enter a zero here because we want to get a false or an exact match. So we enter that and we can see that's worked fine. So if we look at for Tim in UK, yep, UK 100, perfect. And if we were to pull this formula down, I'll copy it down. You can see the formula works for all the names, but obviously it's only going to be looking up into the UK sheet at the moment. It's not doing that whole differentiate between the UK and the US for us. So what we need to do is use indirect uh, to um, build out. Um, well, we're going to use indirect because it will allow us to build a text string. Um, so build it out to what we want to look up and then obviously it will then convert it back to a range. So the part we're going to be using indirect is just around the table array here in the middle. Um, and all we need to do is just after that comma, or before the table array put in the UK there, if you type in indirect and then open your brackets, and then what we can do now is rather than having UK typed in here, all we need to do is select the country uh, in column B. So uh, we've now got B5. We then need to do an ampersand because we want to also include uh, this section here, but we can just leave this as text because this range is not going to change. So all we do is enter our range of B5 because that's what contains the country. After the ampersand, because this is now another part we want to combine into a string, we need to do quotations before the exclamation mark, quotations after the end of the range, so B, and then we can close our brackets and that's it. That's all we need to do for our indirect function. And we can now see that if I just highlight it, all the VLOOKUP, apart from that, looks the same. It's just this table array section where you can see we've got the indirect function. And all it's doing is using the value in B5 to combine, by using the AND symbol, with the rest of the required range uh, or table array information to give us that dynamic table. So when I hit enter, you can see it doesn't look like much has changed because we've still got that same UK 100 value there. But if I now copy down this new formula, you can see that each one is now dynamically looking at the country. So where we've got a uh, US in number six, you can see that it's now searching for the name John in the US sheet. Because if you went into the UK and look for John, we can see it's a UK 200, but actually it's given us US 200. So we can go into the US tab and confirm, yes, that is the correct value. And on that one example, you can see we've also got a John here, but this example is in the UK, and that is pulling for obviously the UK one there.
This can be a really powerful combination uh, if you're needing to compare data or if you have um, maybe complex data where you have to keep them separate but you're trying to find out um, either if an, exi an individual exists in either data set or trying to combine multiple things together, this is a really powerful way you can do it. And you're not limited to just VLOOKUP, there are many other functions that you can use with Indirect, and I'm sure we'll get to doing some videos on those really soon, so we can walk you through that process as well. We hope you really enjoyed that video. If you haven't already, please do make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button, then you'll be notified as soon as any of our new videos come out on the platform. To be doubly safe, you can check out our social media. We've got an Instagram page and a Facebook page, uh, links to which are in the description of this video. Um, we always post on there when new videos are coming out and all, also additional stuff as well. So it's always good to give those a follow and check those out. If you have any questions at all, please drop us a comment below this video or reach out to us by one of those links mentioned in the description. And as always, please do give this video a like. It would be greatly appreciated and it shows us that you're enjoying the content we're putting out there. Thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next video.